How's it going, everybody? This is Vanguard Badlands bringing you another Seven Mortal Sense X Tasty. So, we're gonna break down what's all new. Six days. I've been seeing how this event was going down. So, this is just your daily, what, 10 day login event? Simple, easy. Limbo Discoveries, if you summon on the banner, you're going to get free items from that Limbo Discovery banner. Lord of Pangea. Again, simple login program, power-up rewards program. Not GameStop, but you know, some more Sins versions. And then Throne in the Crosshairs. Again, simple, very easy to achieve. Lord of Pangea. Skill plus one. If you get her a plus, if you get like two dupes, you get this unlocked. Michael, skill plus three. Again, three dupes. Finish the event 200 30 times. You get 25k. And then, since they've been doing these more often, or it's just your staple for every event, finish event stage 250 times, and you get. Three scrolls, and then the next will probably be two scrolls or what, whatever. Just your simple stuff. But what's really, really important is the shop. So, uh, I've been saying how this is going to break down. I was studying. This this is pretty hard. If you're not spending money on on stamina, this, these are impossible to get if you're doing free-to-play. Maybe the Grimoires, if you... Yeah, the Grimoires, and if only if you focused on the her karma, her dedicated karma items. Fragments, those are easy. Purchase cap 10. Good for your generics. But you can get these throughout time and then not spend any of these event points on them. If these are good if you're already close to endgame, so is so is this the e, EX Evolution Shard. The Book of Technique, Book of Agility, and Book of Strength. Really good for endgame stuff. So if you're close to that, these these are obviously the main two to go. And then, the Corporate ID. These are very great. Especially if you're new, uh, free to play. Get two of those. So far, from these, the Corporate IDs and the Fan Letters of the Karmas. For Pangea's Karma, because if we look at the event, we do get coins, soul, es soul essence, which is very, very good. Four star trainers, and then five star trainers. Again, very good. They're, they are giving us a way to farm five star trainers, so hop on this event, farm this event right now. Though it does not stack. Does not stack. These bonuses does not af affect the drop information or these droplets. You don't get more. You don't get less. Tried. So let's let's do with this. Just so we can, I can show you online. Let's try it online first. Let's see. And just just to show you that there's no difference. We're going to let this go on by itself. And I did skip the animations, the ultimate. Usually I turn this off when I'm not doing the events. Or if there's an event I'm not farming. But if there is an event that I'm farming and trying to let it play online. While I'm working or something like that. Then I let it go online. Skipping the animations for the ultimates. And the beginning of the turn phase and end phase. Just so it can go faster. And doesn't kill my battery. But if there's an event that I don't have the bonus points. Or it's an event that I don't care about farming. Then I just go offline mode with it. I think I said it before. But you know. Just a quick reminder to any new players out there. That's what you could do. Currently working on <clears throat> Lucifer. I finally got Lucifer plus 15. 
Not to unlock her. 16, 17, 18, 19, and 21. 20 and 21. Let's see what we get. Soul Essence and the coins. Now if we do this with non-bonuses, let's see, do we have non-bonuses here? Yeah. Let's go with this team. This team is a lot faster. To be honest, I love this team. I believe I have this as a PvP team. I'm not quite sure. But I both I love the technique Thrasia and then the power strength type Strasia. Thrasia. Alright, second stage. Oh wow, she's trying to go for my Lucifer. I always hate hate those NPC characters. Look at her. She can loop that if your team's weak enough. I'm surprised they're still alive. Lucifer, of course, or, yeah, Lucifer? Yeah, Lucifer. Of course, she'd stay alive. There's, that's the balance monster. Oh, damn, she, she just died instantly right there. And... See? Nothing too much. It's just random. So you can go ahead and farm that event offline. Because it does not matter if you have a bonus or non-bonuses. But it's sad because the only way you can purchase a lot of these. Hold on, let's go over here. The only way you can purchase a lot of these is if you have the bonuses to farm up the points. These points right here, the lighters. Just so you can buy these corporate IDs. That's the sucky part. I... <sighs> but. I... I think they made the right choice. Or I think that's just the choice they would have always made. Actually I have to go claim these real quick. And. We're going to summon on the banner. Again. Hold on. How many. Do I have. I have eight. Let's go dip on the banner. Where is it? YouTube luck. YouTube or something. Let's go. Oh shit. We didn't get nothing. But it could be a fake out. I don't know. I swear I thought this game did a fake out once. So we had four. What else do we have? Nope. That's pretty much it. And I got nine. Just need complete day five, log in the seventh day, and continue farming this so I can get seven more right here. So that's three. Where is it? Three, five, sixteen right there. So we can go again. But alright, guys, that's gonna be it for the end of the video. Go ahead and farm this event. It is much needed for free to play players and pay to win players. But alright guys, thank you for watching, and remember, consider hitting that subscribe button if you enjoyed the content. If you don't, you go to hell. Other than that, continue committing etchy sin.